Thank Hello, you very Sarah. much, Rob. Mike, first and foremost, what's it like to be back here at Camden Yards? Uh, I was back a couple years ago for a reunion, and uh, it's, it's always nice to come back here. It's a friendly place and nice place to see a game, and easy in and easy out. My kids like coming down, so uh, you know, it was, when I got the invite, I thought it would be a good idea to try to get down here this summer uh, before it gets really crazy next month, and, and uh, you know, it, it's great to be here. Throwing out the first pitch today, are you going to throw the knuckle curve? Uh, no, I'm going to throw it as straight as I can and try to get it there on a fly. That's usually the plan. So, uh, you know, I'm not as young as I used to be, so just getting it there is going to be the plan. When you think about your time with the Orioles, what stands out as maybe your favorite memory or the best time here? Well, I had a lot of good memories here. Uh, you know, we, we put ourselves in the playoffs a couple times when, when the team hadn't it for a long time. I got the pitch today. Cal broke the broke the game uh, the game streak record. Uh, you know, there's a lot of fun times and. And uh, I, you know, 10 years is a, is a lot of years playing in one place, and I really enjoyed it. And, and uh, uh, I look back on it, and, and, uh, and it, was, it was a great time for me and a great time in my career. At what point in your career did you know you had a legitimate chance to go to the Hall of Fame? <laughs> I don't think I ever, I ever really felt I had a legitimate chance. I just, I just kept playing and, and uh, you know, kept going out and trying to do my job the best I could. And uh, I, was able, I was lucky enough. And... Uh, able to figure stuff out long enough that I could stay till I was almost 40 and and uh, you know I uh, when, the, when the balloting first started I was uh, you know I was only about 20 percent but things kept getting better and better and all of a sudden it kind of just jumped up above 75 and and so here we are. Mike have you had time now to process that you're heading to Cooperstown next month? Um, yeah I think I've, I've processed it a little bit uh, you know you have to there's a lot of preparation involved and, and things you have to take care of. And, uh, but uh, until I get up there on the stage and, and have those guys that, are, that sit behind you when you're making your, your speech and they're presenting you with the plaque, uh, you know, that's, that's when it's really going to set in that, that I've achieved what, what everybody would ultimately love to achieve. And, and it's, uh, I don't know how it happened or why it happened, but, but uh, I got the opportunity and, and um, I feel blessed to be, uh, to be able to go there. Mike, how much are you watching Major League Baseball now? And, and if so, what do you see in the game and how it's evolved since you've pitched? Uh, well, the game always evolves. So when it, it evolved from when I started to when I finished. Uh, I don't watch as much as, obviously, I did when I played. I was there every day. But, uh, uh, you know, pitching has changed a little bit. Uh, starters aren't necessarily doing what starters normally do. Uh, the guys that are are a little old school that were playing when I when I was finishing up. Uh, you know, they still get out there and get six, seven innings in, and there's a few guys that do get that far into games, but but the bullpens are relied on a lot. And uh, and so, you know, there's other small things. The shift is a big thing that's changed the game since I played. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's still baseball. You still have to get 27 outs and, and try to score more runs than the other team. So, uh, you know, it, it's always exciting when playoffs roll around and, and uh, you know, it's, it's nice when it's warm and sunny and not cold, and um, that's when I really enjoy watching the game and playing it. Mike, we thank you for the time, and congratulations. Enjoy today. Thank you.